Mike Woodson and the Indiana Hoosiers, they do it again. They add a transfer portal commit over the weekend, and they're still not done. You are Locked On Hoosiers, your daily podcast on the Indiana Hoosiers. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome in to this, the Lockdown Hoosiers podcast. I'm your man, Jacob Goins. Appreciate you being here, making this your first listen each and every day. Happy Monday. If you are one of my everydayers watching this on the day that it comes out, thank you so much. I love all of my everydayers. You are the reason that we are here each and every day. Part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, which is your team every day. Today's episode is brought to you by Monopoly Go. Look, I admit it, I've got a competitive side, and it is a big fan of of Monopoly Go, the mobile hit twist on classic Monopoly. So join your friends and download Monopoly Go, now free on the App Store or Google Play. Well, thank you so much again for being here, making this your go-to spot for all things Indiana athletics. The Hoosiers continue to do their thing in the transfer portal. They get a commit from Luke Goody over the weekend. We're going to talk about that today. Plus, we've got two more guys we need to talk about, a Clemson guard, and then another big man transfer that the Hoosiers are in contact with right now as we speak. So that is what is coming up on today's episode. I told you on Friday I felt good about Luke Goody. I told you that you should be starting to get a little excited about the Illinois transfer because of the visit he was on and the good things I was hearing about it. Both sides were very, very intrigued and interested. And then, what do you know, halfway through the day on Friday, Luke Goody commits to play for Indiana. This is another really, really good addition for Mike Woodson and the Hoosiers. Six foot seven forward who has one year of eligibility remaining, 39% three point shooter from Illinois. And the things that I highlighted on Friday are the things I'm going to highlight again here. Yes, he can shoot. Yes, he's got size. And yes, he has Big Ten experience. Okay. I cannot express how important I think that is. Now, is he going to come in and be a starter? Mm, Probably not. We'll talk about what the roster looks like coming up in a second. But this guy comes in with experience and knows what it takes to play Big Ten basketball. So you don't have to teach him and hope that he can elevate his game to play at this highest level. You don't have to worry about that. He's played here before. Heck, he played Indiana before. He knows exactly what he's doing. But last year, again, he shot 39% from three, making one and a half threes per game. And in that junior season, six points, 39% from three. Uh, Also uh, shot 46% from two. His free throw percentage, not great, 65%, but that can get better, right? Uh, I would like to see some more assists. And he did get three and a half rebounds, and he played about 20 minutes per game. The question is, is he going to play 20 minutes a game here in Bloomington? I don't know. I don't know, because while he is good, you bring him on as a bench piece, I think. I mean, I think that's what you're bringing him in for. I think that's what you had to sell him on, and you had to convince him that that was going to be his role. And look, he should know that, right? He And anybody at this point that comes in, I think, is going to be a role player off the bench, which we know that we need. Last year's bench performance was horrible. It was terrible, not existent. So at least now the Hoosiers have started to build up a little bit of a bench in case there are injuries or foul trouble or whatever the case may be. So with Luke Goody, I think that's exactly what you're getting is a really impactful, effective bench piece that can come in and knock down threes. And I think he can defend too with his size. I really like him being six foot seven, but 76 big 10 games at Illinois. He started seven of them. I'll take it. I'll take any big 10 power six experience that we can get. Because uh, again, that's just somebody you don't have to worry about. You're not concerned about him and whether his game will translate to the next level, which is going from a group of five to power five, power six. You don't have to worry about that with him. He's good to go, and I believe in him. And look, the guy's got tons of Indiana ties, but it just makes sense. And that's something that's been a really intriguing trend that the Hoosiers have been doing. They've been going after Indiana kids, guys that they missed out on originally that they were recruiting when they were in high school. And now they're circling back to them and saying, hey, 
I know it didn't work out the first time, but why don't you come home and finish your career? That's what Indiana's been doing. They've been doing that with Lou Goody. We're going to talk about that with the Clemson guard coming up in a little bit as well. It's been a trend for the Hoosiers, and so far, it's been working, which is really exciting to me. And hopefully, this can get the Hoosiers back into the landscape of dominating Indiana high school recruiting is going out and, and uh, I guess, rekindling those relationships with a lot of these Indiana guys that didn't come to the Hoosiers originally. And Luke Goody is absolutely one of those guys. And... You look at what the roster is now, okay? Now that you add Luke Goody, what are we dealing with, right? What does Indiana have now? Well, Trey Galloway, Malik Renu, Anthony Leal. Don't forget about Ja'Kai Newton. I want to talk some about him at some point. want to do an episode on Ja'Kai Newton. Um, But Gabe Cups as well. You have McKenzie and Baco, right? You have those guys that are hanging around and staying on this roster. Plus, you bring in... Miles Rice, Cannon Carlisle, Luke Goody now, Umar Ballo from the transfer portal, and then Bryson Tucker. You've got a really good roster building right now. You have two more spots that you can fill, two more scholarships, and I think the Hoosiers are doing everything they can to fill those roster spots because you just want to have options. You want to have a little bit of depth, and you want to have those options and the possibilities of maybe a – uh, an exciting or a, um, I wasn't what I'm looking for, maybe like a surprise starter. That's what I was looking for. A surprising starter, right? Maybe somebody comes in and they just compete their you-know-what off and they just dominate and blow everybody away and they come in and start or they come in and be that sixth man and they get the majority of the bench minutes. You just never know. But you're going to have guys in there competing right now. I still believe, I still believe it is Miles Rice as your one, Cannon Carlisle at your two. I think you're still going to have Ballo at your four and a combination, probably Mbako at your three and Malik Renu at your four. I think that's what you're looking at here. I really, really do. But then you're starting to flirt with, okay, now you've got Luke Goody who can come off the bench. You have Bryson Tucker who can come off the bench. You have Trey Galloway and Ja'Kai Newton who can come off the bench. That's strong, ladies and gentlemen. You have, I just named four guys that you could play, and I guess two or three of them that you'd be confident in because Ja'Kai Newton, we're still waiting on him to obviously develop as a college basketball player, not getting playing time last year. So you have guys that you can trust to come off the bench. And again, the Hoosiers are not done. They continue to reach out to guys and get them through the transfer portal. They're scheduling visits. They're making phone calls. They're trying to get in-home visits. Like They're doing everything they can to jack up this roster in a good way. Jack it up, like make it better. And it, it's just night and day from what we saw a year ago. Mike Woodson and the staff continue to do it. Now, it's all got to come together, and Woody's got to coach, and they've all got to play well, and at the end of the day, you got to win games. But, man, the optimism is there. The optimism is back for a lot of you, I think, the Hoosier faithful in this basketball team, in this basketball program, and what it could be coming up in 24 and 25. And landing somebody like Luke Goody out of the transfer portal only makes this team better. Well, coming up on Locked on Hoosiers, I want to talk about some more guys that the Hoosiers are going after. Yeah, you got Luke Goody. That's great, but we're not done yet. We'll talk about the Clemson guard coming up in just a second on Locked on Hoosiers. Today's episode of Locked on Hoosiers is brought to you by Monopoly Go. All right, game off. All right, we got to pause here to talk more about Monopoly Go. I know what you're saying. Flag on the play. You already talked about that, right? But... There is just so much good stuff in this game. In Monopoly Go, you can team up with friends for timed tournaments where you work together to build up each other's boards. The more you win together, the more awesome prizes you unlock. And there's much more to get. Unique stickers you can trade with friends to compete albums uh, for big prizes. Cool new playing pieces to travel the boards with. Hilarious emojis for taunting friends when you smash their buildings or heist their vaults. Plus, Monopoly Go feels Feels new and exciting every day with constantly changing tournaments and challenges. A ton include their own unique mini games like Digging for Treasure or Robot 
pachinko machine. And there's always new timed events that help you win big, like massive multipliers for everything you win or rent frenzies. There's always something fun to discover in Monopoly Go. So get off the bench and go download it now free on Google Play or the App Store. Monopoly Go, game on. Today's episode of Locked on Hoosiers is brought to you by FanDuel. It's playoff time in the NBA and NHL, and folks, I cannot tell you how much I've enjoyed watching those two things. Plus, baseball is going on right now, too, in full swing, and FanDuel is your place to bet on every single game. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets guaranteed. That's $150 bucks win or lose. Bet on everything from slap shots to home runs to slam dunks, all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. What are you waiting for? Visit fanduel.com slash locked on and make your first bet an automatic win. Yes, an automatic win. 150 bucks, win or lose. Go to fanduel.com slash locked on to make your first bet an automatic win. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Welcome back into Locked on Hoosiers. Appreciate you being here, making this your first listen each and every day. Shout out to all my everydayers, those of you that are here each and every day, whether you're on the audio version, whether you're on YouTube. I don't care how you find us. I don't care how you listen. I just really, really do appreciate you. If you're on audio, be sure you uh, follow us on there. Subscribe if it's an option. Turn on notifications so you never miss a new episode when you're driving into work, driving home from work, at the office, and the bed. I don't care. Make sure you never miss a new episode of Locked on Hoosiers. And if you're on the YouTube video version, thank you so much as well. Like the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are pushing. All right. We are so close to making it to 2,400 subscribers. I would love for you to be a part of that. So help us to get to that as well. Well, not only did Indiana land Luke Goody from Illinois over the weekend, they continue to reach out to guys. They continue to pursue and fill those last two spots on the roster. And this one is one that I'm excited about. It's the Clemson shooting guard, Alex Hemingway, who is talking about taking a visit to Indiana. Now, as far as I know, as of this recording, okay, as of this episode, there is nothing on the schedule on the books for Hemingway in Indiana, but the sides are at least interested. All right, there's mutual interest between the Hoosiers and the Clemson shooting guard. He has a career 43% three point shooter with over 95 games played at Clemson. So, again, something we talked about with Luke Goody, you can use the same kind of, uh, I guess, motto, if you will, for Alex Hemingway. He's played a lot of big-time basketball. Now, we could talk about and have a separate conversation about the ACC and how it's just not all that great outside of the top dogs. Clemson's been better. They've gotten a lot better over the years. So you can throw him into the top dogs, but, God, the rest of the ACC has just been so bad for so long. But regardless, this guy can play. All right, he can play. He is an, another Indiana native, all right, just like we were talking about with Luke Goody. It's a guy that's from the state, balled out in AAU ball when he was playing in high school, and it's somebody that the Hoosiers were not able to get. He went and played at Clemson, and now he's trying to schedule a visit here for the Hoosiers. Six foot three, career 43% three point shooter, and over those 95 games played. Again, a 43% three point shooter in 95 games. And this is not somebody that's taking 10 and making four. All right. That's not how this is going. This guy has shot a ton of threes in his life. Last year, shot 47% from downtown, made almost two per game, and averaged seven points. The year before that, he shot 41% and made one and a half threes per game. Now, he had an injury last year, so he only played the five games in 23-24. So you are dealing and kind of looking at that as a possible turn away, but I think the guy can still play and would be good to go by the time he got here for 24-25. You look at him, though, and he didn't play a ton of minutes, but he played effective minutes. And again, making almost two threes a game, he was knocking them down, and he shot over 45% from three. That's strong, man. That is really strong. I'll say this. Outside of three-point shooting, I don't think he brings you a ton. He's got a little ball handling. He's got some playmaking here or there, but there's no doubt about it what this guy wants to do. He wants to get it in his hands, and he wants to shoot. And you know what? That's fine. Maybe that's what Indiana is looking for in another guard is, look, you come in, 
Just shoot it. I don't care what you do. Just shoot the ball and make it and then run down and play a little bit of defense. Like, it, it seems like that's what the Hoosiers are going after here. Difference between him and Luke Goody, other than the five or, you know, five inches of size and the position that they play is – I think Goody could bring you a little bit more as a backup to Mbako or Renu. Like he could come in and at least help you out with some size down low and can shoot and have a little playmaking. Hemingway just seems to me, seems just like a shooter, man. That's just kind of what he wants to do, which is fine as a shooting guard. I mean, that's the spot he's going to play. And you need a little bit of help there. You do have Carlisle and yes, you do have Galloway, but you also would allow yourself to move things around and you could put in you could play him at the at the one if you needed to, or you can move Carlisle up to the one and play Galloway at the two or play this guy at the two. Like you're just again, you're giving yourself some options here as you make more additions through the transfer portal. Now, as I mentioned, this is nothing official. There is no visit scheduled. Uh, he is set set to visit with Vanderbilt. He's also set to visit with Maryland, I believe. And then Rutgers is trying to get in there as well. And so the Hoosiers are trying to battle here with a couple of a couple of other Big Ten schools and also trying to battle with an SEC team as well, a new-look Vanderbilt squad down there in Tennessee. So all things considered, there's nothing, again, nothing scheduled, but it doesn't hurt to get reach out, doesn't hurt to at least try. I'm afraid, though, if he starts to look at the guard room that we have, it's beginning to get a little stacked up in there, especially for a shooting guard because of, Galloway and because of Carlisle and yes your point guard room is Miles Rice and and Gabe Cups but and and, and Jakai Newton's in there too again we just got to figure out what this kid's going to be the guard room is starting to get kind of stacked and you really need more depth at the three and four behind Mbako, Tucker, Renu, and now Luke Goody you need some more help down there you also need another backup center which we'll get to in a little bit as well in this show I just don't know if a guard is exactly what we need. I, I mean, I'm not going to turn it away. I'm not going to be upset if you go after him and get him, but I just don't know if a pure three-point shooting, not going to bring you a whole lot more guard is exactly what the Hoosiers need. But again, I'm not going to turn it away. We'll see what happens here. I like the kid. I really do. I like him. Um, he only play, Again, he only played a few games last year, but he can shoot the ball, man. That's what he brings to you, and that's, that's what he's going to tell you. I mean, he's going to say, look, I can shoot. If you want that, come on. But there's a chance that he could go somewhere else, especially like a Vanderbilt, where he could probably walk in and start. With as many games as he has played in ACC basketball, Power 6 Clemson basketball, He in a, with the disaster that Vanderbilt is right now, he could probably walk in there and start immediately. He's not starting here. I mean, let's just be real. He's not going to start at Indiana is Alex Hemingway. And there's no guarantee that he'd be the backup two because of Trey Galloway or even go in as a backup one. Like, I don't know what his role would be. So I don't hate that we're reaching out and you're at least, you know, you're just seeing what's there. But I wouldn't get your hopes up on this one, just in my opinion, um, about Alex Hemingway. Just uh, there's no room. There's no room for him. And for somebody that's playing with very limited time now in his college career, I just don't know if he wants to come and sit on the bench behind two or three more people. Maybe he does. I don't know. Maybe he wants to. Um, I just don't see it. I really don't. And we'll see what happens. If he gets a visit, I'll let you know how it goes. But I would say don't get your hopes up on, on the Clemson guard, Alex Hemingway. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong, and he could decide to come to Indiana, and, and it is what it is. But I don't know. I just think I'd rather see more threes and fours and a possible backup five right now for the Hoosiers than another guard. Coming up in our final segment on Locked on Hoosiers, speaking to that big man we got him to talk about, and yes, he's got a wild name, but he's got a lot of skill as well. We'll talk about him in our final segment coming up on Locked on Hoosiers. Today's episode of Locked on Hoosiers is brought to you by Game Time. Look, Game Time is my go-to ticketing app. It is phenomenal. I've used it for concerts. I've used it for sporting events. I've used it for a comedy show. And I know tons of people that have used it for theater and a whole lot more. Their app is easy to use. It's very simple, straight to the point. It's quick. And it's just that good. You get all your best events. You can see the views from your seat, all in prices. You got to opt in for that. And then they'll show you the price you're going to pay. 
They'll show you exactly fees and everything included. So you don't have to go digging and go all the way to the end and then find out how much you're paying. You don't have to do that with the game time app. You can go in any event. Their last minute tickets are always available and they're always the best price. And everybody at Locked On has just become a huge fan of the game time app. With flash deals and even zone deals, save even more when you choose a section and let game time choose the seats, or you can find exclusive in-app deals on select seats ahead of the game or event. And my favorite part, I'll tell you this every time, you get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy so you know exactly what your view is going to be when you walk in the door. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On College for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code L O C K E D O N C O L L E G E for twenty dollars off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Final segment here on Locked on Hoosiers. Appreciate you being here. Make sure you send this out. Share it with all your family and friends that are Indiana Hoosier fans. And, hey, send it to the ones that aren't. They need their daily fix of Indiana athletics. Right? Why not be right here when Locked on Hoosiers? We've talked about Luke Goody and how he has committed to the Indiana Hoosiers. We also talked about the Clemson guard, Alex Hemingway, who is in contact with the Indiana Hoosiers. But there's another guy that's in contact right now with Indiana and Mike Woodson who is a Monmouth transfer, who is a <laughs> Monmouth type of guy, right? He's huge, and we're going to talk about him. And all right, here we go. First time saying his name on the pod. It's going to take me a couple of times. Nikita Konstantinovsky. I think I said it right. I hope so. We're going to get there, I promise. Nikita is a phenomenal player, and he's got a ton of size, and he would fit the role and the, the roster spot that we've been talking about on trying to get some more size. From 2023 and 2024, averaged nine points a game and eight rebounds last season at Monmouth. And you want to talk about somebody that's a popular, popular grab in the portal? The six foot 10 power forward is hearing from Indiana, Xavier, Stanford, Ole Miss, Arizona State, Florida, uh, Temple, Sam Houston, Portland. I mean, this guy is hearing from all sorts of people. And Indiana is in that as well. He's six foot 10, 245 pounds, uh, forward with one year of eligibility remaining. That's been a pretty, pretty standard, um, trait for a lot of these guys that the Hoosiers are going after, unfortunately, but you bring him in and I think he could do some really good things for you. Average nine points, eight rebounds, one assist and half a block per game and almost 24 minutes a game. He started 32 of them. Uh, for a team that wasn't great, but wasn't terrible. Uh, shot 52% from the field, 65% from the free throw line, and missed his lone three-point attempt. Don't think that's what this guy's going to be coming in here to do, is shooting threes. But he's six foot ten, which tells me you can put him at a couple of different spots. He could be your Umar Ballo backup. He could even come in and be a massive four if you absolutely had to. Or you could play them together. You could play them together if, for whatever reason, Malik Renu is foul trouble. Let's just be real, right? Foul trouble for, for Malik. And not saying that you would play these guys together a lot, but I think more than likely he could be a good, solid backup to Umar Ballo, your number one player out of the transfer portal from Arizona. You bring in Nikita, he's got the size, and he almost averages a double double in just 24 minutes a game. He can be. Such a key weapon off the bench for you. If Ballo gets in foul trouble, if Ballo's having a bad game, or look, we got to be honest with ourselves, he can't play 40 minutes. Ballo can't. He cannot play the entire game. He's going to need a break. He's going to need a rest. You want to have somebody that you can bring in to trust that can really weather the storm, I think is the best way to say it. And you're looking, again, we've had this conversation before, you're looking for those guys on your bench that are going to limit the drop-off when you go to the bench because you don't want it to be just a steady, solid starting five and then nothing on your bench and it just drops off a cliff where you may have a 10-point lead, you go to your bench, and by the time the starters come back in, you're down by five. Like That's not what you're looking for here. And I think the Hoosiers are doing a really good job, we are, 
of making sure that that's not going to happen. I mean, look at what you're bringing off the bench already. You got Bryson Tucker and Trey Galloway coming off your bench. Nikita could be another guy like that. Luke Goody's going to be coming off the bench. You already have guys that are going to be there that can help you be a competitive team when you go to your sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth man. And that's what the Hoosiers are trying to do, again, with, with the Monmouth transfer, Nikita Konstantinovsky. All right, he's somebody who comes in. He's a backup center. You're going to ask him for seven or eight points a game and seven or eight rebounds a game. That's what he averages. That's what he does. Come in and be a defensive presence. Be the next big guy that comes in off the bench and is a threat for the Hoosiers, right? That's all you need. You don't need him to go off for 20 points and 20 rebounds and have 15 blocks. Like, you don't need that from him. You just need him to be able to back up Umar Ballo. Come in, get a bucket, run the pick and roll, which he can. If you haven't watched his film, he also just cleans up the glass. He's six foot ten. He should be able to clean up the glass and then just play a little defense. Be a threat. Be a threat down there. Get a block. Get make a you know make make him readjust. Whatever you got to do, I think he could be a really good backup to Umar Ballo, and that's what the Hoosiers are looking for. That's out of the two roster spots, you've got to have that. I think. I think that is crucial for the Hoosiers right now to fill that roster spot, get a backup down there and with some more size. And then with the other one, you can fill it with another four, another three, heck, even another two if you want. I don't care. But this is important. You've got to get a backup center right now. And with Nikita Kostetanovsky from Monmouth, I think that's what the Hoosiers are trying to do. I think we feel pretty good about it. He is in contact trying to make a visit. Once we get more news and updates as of right now, there is nothing. But as we do, you already know we're going to talk about it right here on Locked on Hoosiers. Well, thank you so much for making this your first listen each and every day. Happy Monday. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope we have more good news this week, man. We've been killing it in April, and you're a big part of that. So thank you so much. If you like this video and like the episode on audio, be sure you like it on your audio platform or on YouTube. It takes one tap of the button. It helps us tremendously grow and get it out there. Also, on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. We're on our way to 2,400. Would love for you to be a part of that. Also, make comments down below. I'm trying to interact and get with you guys and talk a little bit of Indiana basketball and Indiana sports with you in the comments. So be sure you do that as well. We'll be back tomorrow, and as I've been saying, you just never know what's going to happen, so you may as well come back and check it all out right here on Locked on Hoosiers. Until then, Hoosier fans, stay safe, and I'll talk to you later.